Uh, Are you chaps okay? Uh, brainwashed. Uh, All of us. Deal. How do you feel? I feel as if something's been taken away from me. But now coming back, I can't put it into words. Laughter. Merriment. Uh. The lack of spirit or determination. Yes. Mm. You all stood by earlier and watched as a man killed himself. Uh, Stephen, especially you, a man of morals and integrity, much after my own heart. Uh, how could you just stand by and watch such a thing happen? Harry. Algy. Oh, crumbs, we've all been under some kind of influence. We've got to act on this and fast. It may to be a blip that's just appeared. I must contact my ship. Hey, what are you doing? This is just in case the influence returns. A constant reminder of what's really going on on this planet. And I must learn more about all of this. Rebo, lock onto my coordinates and beam me up when I say. Ew. But what happens if now? You have all been infected. Do not lose sight of the will to free thinking. Steve? Hi, um... Look, my, my memory's a little hazy. If I was, um, slightly mean to you, then, um... I'm sorry. I mean, it's just good to have your old self back. It's good to feel my old self. Steve, it's the Tubkins. What is? The devils who are causing all this trouble. Robo scanned their ship. It's in hiding. Now is the time to gather the weakest of the men ready for colonization? Yes, the people of Zenith will soon wish they were still ah. under the influence of feeling happy. It is a feeling they will never enjoy again. Prepare the battle fleet. Perhaps if you tell me what you're doing, I'd be able to help. You can, um, pass me a screwdriver. That's not what I meant, and you know it. We're sat there discussing the effects the tuck has been, and suddenly you get all excited, jump around, and bury yourself in the biggest heap of junk I've ever seen. No time to explain. Ask Robo. Robo? To the best of my knowledge, Stephen is planning to alter the angular tilt and trajectory of the laser using a form Okay, Robo, oh, great, enough of the chat. I'm trying to deflect the Tupkins beam so that it comes back on itself and, 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 uh, tap into their ship's mainframe and alter their controls. You mean they'll become... Precisely. That's an image I'd love to see. Master, scan reports that an army of Tupkins have transported down to Zenith. So you're going to change the chemical makeup of the beam so it will affect the Tubkins and not the people? Stephen is having to alter the code of the beam. As in its present form, it will not have any influence over the Tubkins. I'm hoping if I can influence the Tubkins, the two opposing factions will come back to their ship and fight each other. Hey, all of you, quick! The Tubcons, they're on their way to kill us. They're on the rampage. <laughs> We have to barricade ourselves in. I don't want to die. Too late. <laughs> Get them. Okay then, here we go. Oh, whoops, <laughs> shouldn't have happened like that. Give these two a go. Operation successful. Well, I think there's going to be a few surprised expressions on the Tubkin ship. Stop the fighting! Look! We must retreat. Back to the ship. We cannot sustain. Sustain! 
insane. <coughs> I'm not going to sit back here and let them get away with what they've been doing. Come on, lads, let's get them. <coughs> Is that you? You recognise me, dear? Of course I do, you're my beloved sister. I thought I'd lost you. I thought I'd lost you too. Oh. Alert. Genetically altered top comes aboard. Alert. We gotta get out of here. Quick, before they run themselves to bits. But how? Algae? No, Master. It is Robo. What is it, Robo? I thought you should know. The Top Gun ship has just self-destructed. Thanks, Robo. Steve? The people at Zenith are happy. They've got their planet back. The Top Guns are defeated. The menace is over. But Algae... What's wrong with you two? Algae! How did you escape? Gronk and I managed to work the Tubcons transporter just before they destroyed their ship. The Tubcons went mad. Gronk! Uh, <clears throat> yes, well, Gronk. <clears throat> well, just, don't, don't just stand there like some great big streak of Ballasta Beast effluence. And we have work to do. Anders has agreed to be our agent. Huh. Nice to see you too, Moly. Mm. The two warring factions of the Topkins against one another. I would have loved to have seen that. Interesting, though. I wonder what the good Topkins would have done. Perhaps they would have brought some good to the cause. Oh, I meant to tell you, Harry, Stephen. <laughs> the survey ship picked up your distress call and they're sending a ship to our aid. Yes, <laughs> and it's armed with women. <laughs> <laughs> women, eh? Sounds like you lot are in for some fun and games. Uh, I think, Moly, that perhaps we could stick around a bit longer. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I think for once, Grunk, we uh, might be in agreement here. Yes, I think we'll uh, start the tour here. Uh, you can just imagine the women flocking around us, just gaping and staring and wanting to feel, you know, all in awe of our newfound celebrity image. Well, it's time for us to be making tracks now. How can we ever repay you? Any chance to get one up on the Tupkins deal is enough for me. Do you think they'll ever come back again, does Anna? Who knows? But I doubt it. It was an unusual plan for Tupkins. It seemed to be more of an experiment than anything else. Well, thank you, anyway. Goodbye, Depressor. Bye. Will you be continuing with the uh, chuckling cavern and the happy hall? I think we'll always have places of merriment and laughter, but also places of solitude and contemplation. A happy balance. Anyway, with a ship full of women on the way, there should be happy smiles round for a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, good to be seeing you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, dear. Come on. <laughs> oh, dear.